brother at CES. Now you're not going to think of sewing machines when you think of consumer electronics, but you can think all the way back to Jakar's Loom. That's where we got our punch cards. So you're going to find, when we talk to June here, who is amazing, by the way, that this technology kicks half the technology's asses around here. So we're going to check it out. You can see all the different machines that you could get from Brother. Starting out, you know, with a C, uh, what is that? A CS4000. This is one of the basic ones, right one here. One of the basic ones. It's got but about. Look at all these stitches. Look at all the stitches that you're going to be able to create with a machine like this. Lots of uh, cross stitching and decorative, and, decorative uh, and some daisy type stitches and leaf stitches. These are really great for embellishing yeah, those something. Are really nice for it. This is, how much? What's the price? On? Uh, a, a product like that would cost a customer about. $159. Oh, that's that's really well. And you know, a lot of uh, people like to repurpose things. Maybe they have a, a skirt that they want to add a little bit yeah. more jazz to. That's a great use for a decorative stitch. Oh, and uh, the next to this is a serger. And you know, if you're really into garment sewing, you want to have a serger yeah. to finish the edges and give it a flatter look and very professional. Right. And right. easy to use. Very easy to use. And of course, along the bottom here, we have lots of high-end machines. Well, these look, they've got even one with Disney, it's got a huge yeah, LCD screen on it. We have a great uh, a licensee with Disney, and uh, that'll let the customer embroider anything from Mickey Mouse, Winnie the Pooh, or any of the Pixar designs like Nemo and so forth. So they really can have a lot of fun with that and make some great uh, gift items for people. That's really nice. And then can they download this sort of from the internet, or do you have to buy? Uh, how do you input things? Yeah. Is that too detailed? Yeah. Where do you no, want me to answer? Not. That's a good question. <laughs> how do you get right. those information in there? Right now. Now, a customer, when they want to embroider a specific design, the, some of the designs are built into the machine and some of the designs are on flashcards. And we've had people through here at the Consumer Electronics Show who have said, wow, when did you start using that card? It's like a nine pin adapter. And I said, well, we started that about 15 years ago. And this guy looked at me and he said, that was way ahead of digital cameras and where people started using flashcards. So it was rather interesting because that technology was available to sewers before it was available to other people like photographers and so forth. So you well, said, that's a nice tidbit. Yeah, it was a great tidbit. What happened too with uh, the evolution of these machines and the creation of them, it really started to reach out to people, sewers, who said, you know what, I bet I could invent something. And they really invented uh, stabilizers or different types of threads or hoops, and they started to sell them. So these sewers had their own businesses, and they're still very successful. And actually, we um, introduced a software program about 11 years ago, and we weren't quite sure, oh, is the market ready for this software? program where consumers can create their own work and so forth and I said let's do it let's try it out and that was right at the same time that the internet was kicking in well these consumers started to communicate with each other on the internet and they set up their own chat rooms and now you have blogs but you know they had chat rooms and different things and they helped each other and they would we had cruises conventions they were ready for technology and it was hysterical because maybe they had a question about how the software was working in their computer, so they'd go over to some place like CompUSA and ask for help, and the guy would go, a sewing machine? No, no, no. So it was pretty interesting to see that technology take place. But also, we're seeing that a lot of young people are learning skills from it. They're learning how to digitize their own designs. Digi right, right. So you can create something on your own computer, bring it over here, and you're digitizing it. Um, you know, women aren't afraid of technology. That's my big thing. We're not afraid of it at all. It's just, a, it's just you know, is it something that we want to do? Uh, we're going to check out something really cool that they have called Photo Stitch. I can't say it as well as you can, so I'm just going to let you go on this one. I actually had so much fun with this. Here, I'm hold I, this I took a picture. I, got it. I took a picture of my husband and granddaughter and it just had such a look about it and Aww. I said, you know, this would be really cool if I then took it into a software program from Brother called uh, PE Design. And one of the functions in there is called Photo Stitch. And you can actually see how I've taken a photograph and 
had the JPEG files turn into Brother Stitching files, and now it looks like a beautiful uh, painting, so to speak, a thread it does painting, look like if a you painting. Will. So it's really kind of cool, and it just, it's perfect. And it's such a great gift because now the person is like, I had this, and it took about an hour to embroider, and it's totally unique. So I really wow. think it's great. How long did it take to convert to the brother uh, file? It's seconds. The conversion, you know, you're not the first person that asked me about that at this yeah, show. Yeah, because converting things and converting files, and it, it can not, be a real pain. Yeah, well, we automate that in our software program. So all we have to do is import the picture and just uh, mask it to get rid of the background. And then we just say convert it into stitches. And seriously, in about 10 seconds, it has converted it into stitches. And now all I have to do is save it to a USB stick and put it into my to the side of my machine, put that USB stick into the side of the machine, and the picture automatically comes up, and I'm ready to start embroidering. It tells me the colors that it would like to embroider it in. It made all those decisions for me. And again, it takes about an hour, hour and a half to do that. So that's cool technology.